Welcome everybody. This lesson's on the role of operations. Operation refers to the business processes that transform inputs into outputs. As we can see in this diagram, inputs are transformed into an output. In the transformation phase, value is added to the inputs and as they are transformed. The operations function overlaps with marketing, finance and human resource functions. Now, the operation inputs will vary according to what is being produced, but generally speaking, we have raw materials. For example, rubber, steel. Land. Every operations needs a factory or an office in, to produce their product. Humans, which is the labour, the people who are going to produce the product. Machinery, which can also include technology. Money, we also use the word capital to define money. Information, which may be the, the discussions that take place at the workplace. Time, which is a very crucial element. Skill. And then we have our outputs. All outputs are called products. Depending on the business, they're going to be a good, for example, a car or a piece of furniture, or a service such as a haircut or going to the dentist. Here we have an example of making a car. Our inputs for making a car include rubber, steel, paint, money and engineers. There are a lot more inputs into making a car, these are just a few. Those inputs are then transformed. We need to cut, drill, weld, design and assemble those inputs. They are then transformed and value is added at this stage here. And in this particular example, we have made a car which is a Holden Astra. Now, as mentioned previously, it's very important that the operations function doesn't work alone. They need to work with the marketing, finance and human resource functions as well. In the modern day business, it's very important that the customer is always placed first in every process that the business conducts. It depends on the business what the customer needs, but just generally speaking, we say that customers across the board want to operate a low cost and they want the business to minimise waste. They want these two factors because if the business is able to operate a low cost and minimise waste, then the retail price of the product will be reduced for the customer and that's very important to us. Customers are becoming very environmentally aware these days. They expect businesses to conduct themselves in a way that won't affect the environment for future generations. And they're also concerned about fair value for labour. This includes things like good working conditions, fair pay. And finally, consumers want the business to reflect ch changes in their own needs. For example, consumers have been demanding that mobile technology get smaller and smaller. And we've seen Apple and Microsoft try to respond to this need from consumers. Apple have done a fantastic job. The Apple iPhone now can be taken anywhere. Consumers can check their emails, work on the internet on that iPhone. That finishes today's lesson on the role of operations. See you next time.